welcome to the pencil 2d animation tutorial this is part 4 and today we will learn some basic animation technique uh, we have already done one animation uh, ball is falling down uh, now we will add some more things in that uh, we will add some more things and make some uh, some things some other scenes we create some scene in which we have some we have mountains and sky and some green field uh, so uh, we just come to this particular we have on the pencil tool Okay, and here you can see we are on the bitmap layer. We'll be using the bitmap layer to create our scene. So uh, I've just uh, selected a pencil tool, and I have to make a mountain. So mountains they are uh, brown in color generally. So a little bit brown. So uh, I've just selected this brown color on the pen tool. I just create a mountain. Okay. Then one more, and so on. Then I have to close this surface because uh, we need to make this particular thing brown. I have to fill it. So, okay. So this is filled up. Okay. Now uh, I have to make this upper part uh, look appears like a sky. Okay. So I have to select the color. Okay. Fill this part. This becomes the sky. Okay. I have to make it a little brighter. So I can make it a little bright. Okay, then I have to make this as a green field. Okay, so this becomes the green field. Now, in uh, this is what uh, the basic things are. Uh, now, in order to add some uh, realistic things in this, uh, we select the smudge. This is the smudge tool. Okay, okay. and in, uh, we click on the smudge tool and come on the screen and left click and just push the boundaries by left clicking okay, this is the left clicking okay, the edges are not as sharp okay so we can just we can just okay this is more realistic okay then we can make this so we are just adding some boundaries Okay, which were very sharp, but it is not as sharp. This is the use we can see this of the smudge tool. Okay, then okay, and okay, uh, we can uh, okay. That's all uh, about this particular scene. Now. Uh, so we want to uh, show a sun rising. Okay, uh, sun is there and it is rising up. Okay, so uh, we need to add one more layer here. We are already in this bitmap layer, so I'll just rename. I'll just rename this bitmap layer as a uh, scene. Okay, so this uh, now in order to uh, show a sun, a rising sun, we need to add one more layer. Okay, I'll add a bitmap bitmap layer. Okay, so. This is I will name it as sun. Okay. Okay. So now I am this on the the sun layer, which is of course a bitmap layer. I have renamed it as a sun layer. Okay. So I will draw a sun, okay. and uh, the color is of course yellow, uh, uh, bright yellow. Okay. So I just draw a circle here. A circle is drawn using the pen tool and then I fill it up uh, with this particular uh, okay this is done okay, now why I have drawn this Sun on a different layer I could have drawn it on the scene layer but because both are of course uh, bitmap layer but because we want to show the Sun is rising and we want to keep the scene intact what happens here uh, when we uh, when we are on the scene layer okay and we click on this Okay, adding a keyframe. So uh, when we add a keyframe, everything is gone, which was drawn in the previous frame. Okay, so uh, in the uh, in the scene, I, we have to keep the scene intact. So I come back again. I come on the sun layer, and when I add a keyframe, you will see sun is gone, but the scene layer, all the things which are on the scene layer, they remain intact. So we want to only show the sun. Sun is changing. Uh, the sun is changing its position, but the scene remains intact. Therefore, we need to select uh, a different layer to show the motion of the sun. And the scene, 
so whenever we are on this layer and we don't click on this keyframe as long as we are not clicking on a keyframe adding a keyframe the things remain intact so we want to keep this intact there is another way we can add this particular a uh, duplicate frame okay so it will add a duplicate frame but we don't need this now okay so we come to the sun layer and we have the sun here now in order to make it move upwards we come to this particular select select tool okay we select this we have to move this select sun okay and then first copy it so control c we copy it okay and now click on the keyframe we are on the sun layer we click on the keyframe as we see this becomes red because this becomes red because uh, whatever it, uh, in the previous frame it will show this onion skin okay now we just uh, uh, press control v okay and it pastes on the place where it was okay in the first frame and then we use this move tool and move a little bit up okay just it is going moving up okay then again we come here and add a keyframe the sun is gone control v okay then again use the select tool we need to uh, select this before moving and then move it a little bit upwards okay then uh, click here so that it remains in that position then add a keyframe okay then again control v because it is already copied we just need to need to paste it okay then uh, use this particular tool move it a little bit upwards okay and so on okay then again keyframe select it and then use the move tool and move a little bit upwards okay so i will just uh, skip all the other steps i will just go to the last frame okay and we can just uh, we can just try it out and show that this sun goes upwards in this position okay okay so i i have done this uh, up to uh, 26 frames okay uh, copy paste uh, select copy paste and so on up average up to here uh, i can just play it uh, continuous playing so you can see the rising sun okay maybe you can do more better than me uh, this is what i have done okay uh, we can even add clouds if you want okay a cloud moving in this position either in the same uh, maybe the same uh, layer or we can add one more layer okay so we can also show the clouds moving in I on either side now this is how we can uh, make a an animation we can have any an animation uh, now uh, next is how to export this particular uh, in mp4 format so i click on file and you can see export okay uh, you can click on movie okay so it will show some default location okay uh it shows it will be saying it will be saving on uh, users is my desktop okay uh, and i just i can even browse it and maybe i can use uh, my desktop okay and i can name this scene okay scene 1 okay and save it and the width uh, and the height can be also selected we can start which what is the start what is the end frame and so on so i just click okay now to create the mp4 okay uh, do you want okay we can open it i just press yes so we have vlc player it will play on the vlc player okay by default we use this so you can see this is what we have the scene one Okay. So here uh, we have just seen a uh, uh, very, very small scene having very few number of frames. Okay, we can extend it to more number of frames, and the scene can be extended. So that's all for this particular tutorial. Thanks for watching.